Meantime, as investigations continue into Sunday's early morning shooting that claimed the life of a 35-year-old man and wounded his teen daughter, the girl's school family is tonight rallying behind her. Corval Pyfram spoke with school administrators today whose thoughts are with young Kantara Woodside. 15-year-old Kentara Woodside is the girl wounded in Sunday morning shooting incident along Wilson Track just off Cordo Avenue. The same shooting that claimed the life of a 35-year-old father. At the 11th grade of school, administrators were today still trying to understand what had happened. Losing a loved one is never easy, but, you know, whatever C.B. Bethel can do, we'll do our best to ensure that it's more comfortable for her. These administrators, while overjoyed to know that Kantara is expected to fully recover from her physical wounds, understand that emotionally she faces a long and difficult road ahead. And with C.V. Bethel being the close-knit community that it is, the school is committed to providing her with whatever help she needs to heal. I pray, as the principal would have said, that with counseling and guidance, she'd be able to get through this because he's here every afternoon very late once she's practicing with the band he comes and pick her up in that white truck every single day principal harcourt mccoy like many is worried about how far reaching this escalating crime and violence has gotten the violence that continues to um go on on our streets um leaks onto our campus by way of our students because they come from these homes and these communities where the violence is going on um, it's so unfortunate that um, it's affecting some of our most brightest and um, potentially most um, gifted um, students. Kantara is expected to be discharged from hospital very soon, and school officials say the teen is looking forward to returning to school. However, it is still unclear when exactly that will happen. And as for the investigation, no arrests have been made. The hunt is on for two male suspects believed to be the alleged assailants in this matter. Police asking anyone with any information that can assist their investigation to come forward. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Corvell Pye from... In case you missed the news or want to stay ahead, subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on X, TikTok, Instagram, or Facebook.